Hi there. Welcome to Dietitian Review. I am your dietitian, Fechi. Many a time, I get this question from a lot of people, both diabetics and people who want to lose weight. What is the best swallow for me? Now, in this episode of our Dietitian Review, we'll be looking at the content, the nutrient content of all the swallows available to us in this environment, okay? Now, the essence is for you to know the nutrients, the carbohydrates, the calorie, the protein, the fat, the water content of these swallows for you to make better judgment. We will look at them one after the other, and at the end of it, we will categorize them based on these their needs, okay? So that you will know which one to go for, either as a diabetic or as someone who wants to lose weight, okay? Now, welcome to Dietitian Review. You're welcome to this video. So in this video, we'll be looking at this table that contains swallows, okay? You know, many people have been asking the same question, especially people with diabetes and those of them that are on weight loss journey. So they want to know which swallow is best for them, okay? So we'll be looking at this table that describes the calorie, the water content, the protein content, the fat content, the carbohydrate content, and the fiber content of these um, swallows, okay? So you have to take a close look at each of them. Now, a closer look at calorie, protein, fat, carb, and fiber you have to take a close look at these you know parameters to be able to know which one you might be going for okay first of all i'm not going to say this is the best okay because we preach variety but i can give you a couple of them which you can do all right for white eba yellow eba amala Fufu, pounded yam, and then acha. These are prepared, you know, food products, okay, food samples. That is what was used for this um, particular um, nutrients, to know the nutrient content, okay. But for unripe plantain, oat, and wheat, they are raw samples, okay? So I didn't really find the one that has, you know, a prepared um, swallow, you know, to tell us the amount of nutrients in them, okay? So, but however, relatively, we are using this, okay, to make our judgments. So, but if we should look at fiber, you will discover that if the raw has this amount of fiber, then we should base our judgment based on this and not the calorie, okay? Because the raw should have more fiber than, you know, the one that has been prepared, okay? So the more you process your food, the lesser the fiber. So that's it, okay? So because we preach variety we'll be giving you some of the swallows you may likely need to be taking okay but irrespective of the one you'll be taking one thing you must do for yourself is to consult a dietitian to plan a menu for you and this menu is for you to know exactly the amount you need to take for any of this okay 
So because their quantity is one factor that is independent on its own, irrespective of the swallow you will be taking. All right. So for this video, let's look at white ebba. Okay, for the purposes of better understanding these figures we have gotten from the food compo Nigerian food composition table and um, African food composition table, that's the FAO food composition table. And some of them were based on the average of the two you know composition table for this you know our staple foods in africa and nigeria especially okay so for white ever which is gary okay 100 gram of it is 98.7 kilocal okay and the water in it is 76.42 gram then the protein is 0 0.68 gram the fat is 0 0.10 gram and the carb is 22.94 gram. Okay, this is for white ebba. And then the fiber in it is 1.7 gram. Okay, so for yellow ebba, is the calorie is 117.62 one, one kilocal. And then the water is 71.33 gram. The protein is 0 0.37 gram. 37 gram. The fat is 0 0.26 gram. While the cap is 27.60 gram. Okay. And the fiber is... 1.7 grams so the fiber remains the same okay but if you look at the calorie difference you would discover that you know that of yellow ever has more calorie because it's added oil oil was added to it all right so amala amala is a yoruba you know swallow which is made from either cassava or yam and or yam and all right plantain so any of these three can be used you know to make you know um amala which is also called a lupo all right so the 100 gram of it contains 89.40 kilocal you know 78.31 gram for the water and then protein is 0 0.30 gram then the fat is 0 0.12 gram then the carb is 20.53 gram while the fiber is 2.50 gram okay now um fufu yes fufu is 100 gram of it is 142.45 kilocal, okay, and then the water in it is 70.04 gram, the protein in it is 0 0.52 gram, the fat in it is 0 0.08 gram, then the carb in it is 34.7 gram while the fiber is 0 0.36 gram, all right? So pounded yam, okay? Pounded yam is 108.95 kilocal. That's 100 gram of it you know, contains this calorie, okay? And water is 72.15 gram. The protein is 1.03 gram. The fat is 1.42 gram. The carb is 22.21 gram, while the fiber is 1.60 gram. All right. All right. Then, um, on 
ripe plantain is the next one. Now, this is the one that many people usually consume, but they are not aware of the figures in them. I, I know a lot of people consume this, so, but this is something that many of them need to know. On ripe plantain, the calorie is in a 100 gram of it is 312 kilocal. And then the water in it is 20.43 gram. That is, it has very low water in it. Okay, and you need to add water to it, you know, to be able to prepare them for swallow. Then um, protein is 2.73 gram. Fat is 0 0.63 gram. You know, carb is 73.61 gram. And then, here is the one that many people don't know. A lot of diabetics consume this. Fiber is 0 0.49 gram. That is less than 0 0.5, right? So, it's something that you need to take note of. Very careful about it. Now, oat. Oat is 100 gram of it has a calorie of... 381 kilocal and then the water in it is about 8.25 gram okay and the protein in it is 9.25 gram the fat in it is 7.15 gram and then the carb in it is 66.4 gram and also the fiber in it is 5.3 gram so if you look closely you will discover that it has a lot of calorie in it and also a lot of fiber in it all right so wheat which is another core print that many people consume you know a hundred gram of wheat it's 356 0.4 kilocal then water is 11.74 gram protein is 11.6 gram fat is 1.78 gram carb is 72.9 gram then fiber is 2.2 gram all right this is for wheat okay now but the final one for this is Acha. The, the scientific name is Fonio. I think the English name or something. It's Fonio. Okay? Fonio is very powerful, right? And a lot of people don't know about it, but it's one of the powerful swallows that, you know, we are getting to discover okay and for you a hundred gram of it is 145.1 kilocal water is 63.63 gram okay now the protein is 2.9 gram the fat is 1.3 gram and then the carb is 28.9 gram then the fiber is 3.1 gram all right now this is for boiled acha okay because it can be eaten several ways okay the flour i've not seen where you know it was prepared you know to know the quantity of the nutrient in the flour but in the Nigerian food composition table, it was the boil I saw, so that is where we got this. But I know that the flour should contain more fiber because the processing that it goes through, okay, does not need much of uh, the waste, okay. We don't remove most of the, you know, both the soluble fiber and the insoluble fiber are usually in dried product so it should have more fiber in it now this video the essence of this video is for you to see for yourself 
Okay. So for me as a dietitian, I usually prescribe for my clients, you know, to eat more of the oats because oats invariably has more fiber. Okay. So, but I have a series of them and I will line them up in this order. Oats will be the number one. Okay. Followed by Acha, which is the number two, and then followed by probably wheat. But some people do react to wheat, and wheat has its you know peculiarities if you want to consume them. So if you don't react to it, then you may go for it, and then followed by amala. For those of you who love to eat amala, you can also you know consume them, but you need to know the um, the processing of the amala. If it's made from unripe plantain, we already know that unripe plantain doesn't have much fiber in it. So it has to come from the yam, pounded yam, or from the cassava, all right, for it to have some little of fiber in it, all right? So, and then you go for your gari. Your gari is very, very very okay if you can get your quantity right i mean the quantity you need to eat so any of the gary can come in and also your pounded yam can also come in in this order okay so it is oats acha amala wheat any of the gary whether the white or the yellow then the um, pounded yam before, but for unripe plantain, please, we need to cut it off with fufu. You don't need to eat those ones because they have a lot of calorie in them and very less fiber. So you need to cut off from either of them, please. Let people people need to know that unripe plantain does not contain fiber, and fiber is essential in you know giving you that feeling in helping your sugar control mechanism. All right, so that is it for this video, and I thank you for being part of it. I'll see you on the other side. I hope you got value from watching that video. All right. Now, this is to help you understand that not all swallows that you hear from people is ideal for you as a diabetic or as somebody who wants to lose weight, okay? So what you need to do is to consult a dietitian who understands some of these things. This video is not for you to go about eating whatever. There is need. There is need for you to know exactly the quantity you need to eat and then to know the variety of these things that you need to eat. I gave you a list for you to know exactly what they contain, okay, to help guide you on how you need to eat them. Now, if you're interested in having the acha, we also sell this acha, okay? You can order your own archer by going to the description, connect with me on my WhatsApp, okay? We have, you know, archer in place. And we can deliver it, deliver it to you wherever, okay? Whether you're in Nigeria or whether you're outside Nigeria, but just know that the logistics, you will have to bear the brunt, okay? But we can deliver it to wherever you are, okay? So you can make your order, go to that WhatsApp, you know, in the description, WhatsApp link, connect with me and let me know. I'll see you. Thank you for listening. If you've not subscribed to this channel, I'd like you to click on that subscribe button, click on the notification bell so that you'll be able to know when we release our subsequent video. In this 
channel, what we do is to share evidence-based nutrition information that will help you live a healthy life. Okay, so subscribe to this channel, click on that notification, like, comment. I'll see you next time. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.